we all recognize that music to be the work of one of our own, Larnell Harris. That song, Mighty Spirit, has been featured on a nationwide television campaign for the Points of Light Foundation. He performed that song for President and Mrs. Bush at the White House in 1991. Larnell received his bachelor's degree in music education in 1969 and is a five-time Grammy Award winner and a 10-time Dove Award winner. He was a part of the history-making Moscow, Moscow Project, which is sponsored by the International Bible Society and Youth for Christ International, during which more than four million Russian language New Testaments were distributed in the former Soviet Union. He also performed the first gospel concert ever held in the Kremlin in 1991. His concerts literally spanned the globe, from Canada to Alaska, Korea, South Africa, on and on and on. Those of you who came to my inauguration back in 1989 remember an event there that people still talk about with me. I invited Larnell Harris we had been following, Susan and I had been following for years, and I was so delighted to find out he was a Western graduate. And I called Larnell, we'd never met, and I asked him if he would please come to my inauguration and sing a song. He quickly responded that he would be delighted to do so, and we hit him up for songs at the luncheon and everything else before it was <laughs> over, and he, he gladly did those as well. But in Van Meter Auditorium on that day when Larnell came out and performed in what is typically a very stoic kind of uh, uh, ceremony with all the robes and the hats and so forth, people jumped to their feet with a standing round of applause. And it was almost earth shattering, which was, I think, appropriate since Van Meter's roof sort of came up just a little bit while he was singing. It was so powerful. Our next inductee is an international gospel music recording star impacting thousands of lives each year. We're proud he's from Western. Number one records, concerts, music awards. They're nothing new to 1969 Western Kentucky University alumnus, Larnell Harris. He's one of the most inspirational and talented contemporary vocalists around, and one only has to listen to his music to realize just that. Deep within the heart, has always known that there is freedom somehow breathed into the very soul of life. Harris is one of only two gospel performers to have ever won five Grammy Awards. He's received the Dove Male Vocalist of the Year Award three times and has recorded the Dove Song of the Year but he claims little personal credit for his success. When I think about uh, the career, when I think about uh, the places I'm going and all of those things, um, I can look back and honestly say that I, I understand that all these other things are important. You know, the record sales were important, the concert dates were important, the honorariums are important, but boy, it would be nothing if I didn't believe what it was I was singing about. Harris's performing days began during early church-going years and continued into his college days before a professional career, which began with the Spurlow Singing Group. The former drummer also spent time with other groups before beginning what has become an extremely successful solo career. In 1993, Western Kentucky Hall of Distinguished Alumni honoree, Larnell Harris. Um, I have not made it to People Magazine yet, though. We're <laughs> going to work on that. My career at Western started uh, when my mom and dad dropped me off in front of North Hall. First time I'd ever been away from home when my mom and dad started driving off, and I watched the car until it was almost out of sight. And my mother wanted to come back and get me. And my dad wouldn't hear of it. Um, I'm so glad that they did not because I believe that it was part of a plan. I believe that God has ordered my steps and I believe that he 
had me pass through Western Kentucky University. I was over at uh, the foundation just a few weeks ago, and I had the privilege of speaking with Dr. Downing. And as I was talking to him, he, his face swelled up with pride, and tears came to his eyes. And one could see the love and commitment that he had to the, to the school and to its students. And after having a, a not been at the college for some number of years, I realized all over again in that moment, speaking with him, why I was here. Because people cared, because they're genuinely interested in, in its graduates having success, it prepares them well, and I am just so thankful um, that God had Western Kentucky on the list for Larnell Harris. Thank you very much. You haven't been to one of his concerts, you need to do so.